Let's talk about separating concerns when you do a live production with a fairly large crew. You would have one guy responsible of shading cameras and another guy responsible for the camera angles. And if you use robotic cameras, you will then need two different uh, controllers connected to the same cameras. So the Visca over IP protocol is really useful for that. And uh, the new tech NDI HX PTC camera supports it. We also uh, see that Lumen support it. And of course, Sony has uh, Visca over IP protocol implemented on their larger um, uh, models, or basically probably all those that are IP based will have Visca over IP. So it means that multiple controllers can connect to the same camera. And that's exactly what we need, because what we have here is a PTC fly, and the PTC fly controller needs to connect to the camera because of joystick control. That's what we want to do from this controller. Then we have the RCP, and from the RCP we want to use the iris handle and the whole menu system to, do, um, to, to work with the white balance, to select the exposure mode, and of course to adjust iris of the camera. So these are the controllers I brought today, and you can see them right here. We also have a recording of the output from the camera, so you can follow a little bit. So let me just demonstrate. I'm now turning the handle, and you see I'm zooming with uh, the camera, okay? And then I'm pushing the iris handle on the RCP, and you see I am adjusting iris of the camera. And that's it. I could stop the video right now, but I thought it would be more fun if we zoomed in on the RCP and took a look at a few of these settings that uh, I have set it up to adjust on the robotic camera. So just again, we can see how the iris handle and the value for the iris is displayed here. And as I pull the handle, I am adjusting the iris in those steps that are assigned to this robotic camera. Of course, all the other things like uh, preview and so forth would be set up uh, as normally. Uh, we have a shift key here, which I can use to um, uh, select shift states. And then in the upper part of the controller, I have given myself access to a few things, like for instance, white balance mode. It's currently set to manual, and I have access to the red and blue gain parameters of uh, the iris. And uh, I can adjust those, of course, and adjust the white balance mode. Now, um, there was one thing. I said that we needed to separate concern because I want to show how cool this is and how well things are working together. I just can't help myself to bring the PDC fly controller into a mode where you can see that these values are in fact communicated over to that one as well. Um, I mean, alone the fact that you see the iris value on this display will correspond with the one uh, used on the camera. Uh, you can see it on the camera's uh, output image. It is the same. Um, but then if I if I use this menu, I go to the white balance menu, you can see it's in manual mode. And if I change this over here, it's instantly updated here. And uh, if I go back to manual mode, uh, where is it? Okay, manual mode, there you go. Uh, you also see that these two values will be uh, changed as, um, let's just move that over so you can actually see it. Uh, so as I am changing the the blue gain, for instance, you see that this is becoming uh, this is updated on the PTC fly as well. Now, because I wanted to separate concern, the, the advice would probably be that you uh, go into the configuration of the PTC fly and make sure that the user cannot tamper with these settings because you wanted to move them over to the RCP. But of course, the PTC fly out of the box will come with a configuration that gives you access to this. So you will have to manually remove it to make sure you don't have any clash between that. But you see, the clash is really not bigger than the fact that th th these two controllers, they are not talking together, but they are talking to the same camera. And that camera is relaying information back to each controller, so they are always in sync. And uh, that's just how it should be. So this is really good. Okay, so uh, if we just quickly go back to this controller, we can see how uh, the exposure mode is currently set to iris. And that's exactly what it should, of course, if we want to adjust iris. But I can also use this uh, button here to change the exposure mode to something else if I wanted to. And that is exactly the concern of the shading operator, that he can do all these things while the PDC operator is in charge of the camera angle. And that's possible with Skahoi Universal Visc controllers, probably the best in the world because they know your camera better than you do yourself. Yeah.